Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So um, in this particular video, we are going to um, do analysis of Union Budget 2023-24. So um, we will go through uh, the uh, key highlights during the um, budgetary announcements 2023-24. Uh, and uh, these, um, like if you talk about the Union Budget, so this is uh, very important um, for all. Like if you're preparing for anything related to government examination and all. So you need to know about these particular facts. Okay. So uh, in this uh, entire video, we are going to talk about uh, the highlights of uh, budget 23-24. So like what were the sources of income or the allocation or uh, the priorities of uh, union budget 23-24. And uh, the other announcement made by Honorable Fina Finance Minister uh, Nirmala Sita Ramanji. Okay. So, um, uh, as you know, like this year, if you talk about the priorities of Union Budget 23-24, so it is um, uh, the Amrit Kal or we are celebrating the Amrit Mahotsav. So, the priorities, they generally known as uh, Saptarishi, okay. So, Saptarishi means we have seven uh, pillars or seven uh, priorities in this particular budget, okay. So like uh, if you talk about these uh, seven pillars, so we have inclusive development, uh, the overall development of um, uh, Indian economy and as well as uh, the um, human beings, okay, uh, reaching the last mile, the infrastructure and investments areas, unleashing the um, potentials of Indian economy, green growth, uh, youth power, financial sector. So these are the seven areas uh, when you'll study the complete budget documents so you will find the entire budget is surrounding these uh, seven points so these seven points they are generally known as a uh, saptarishi and uh, saptarishi for the amrit kal okay and if you talk about the vision of amrit kal so that is empowering inclusive uh, economy okay so opportunities for citizens with a uh, focus on youth so like uh, they are generally um, trying to create um, a job uh, a job based economy so we can give jobs to or we can uh, promote to uh, the startups in other areas as well okay so next one we have um, uh, job creation then we have strong and stable micro economic environment so which will generally give boost to domestic productions okay so uh, like there are a number of things which are generally announced uh, during the budgetary session so we will try to cover the maximum points or we'll try to cover the important points for your examination uh, viewpoint as well okay now if you talk about the budget budget so budget is all about numbers so it is um, you can say like as a uh, article 112 state it is a uh, annual financial statement okay so it is uh, we can say it is a uh, no, it's all about the number game. So we have income and expenditure, uh, income for the current years and expenditure for the upcoming year, which is 23-24. Okay. So if you see these particular numbers, so you can see uh, these numbers. Okay. So 2023-24, the upcoming years. So the overall income is uh, 26 lakhs 32,281 uh, uh, lakhs. Okay. So which is uh, a revenue receipt. So this is your revenue receipt, receipt gener or income generated by the government from different different sources like taxable, non-taxable and all. And then we have capital receipt, capital receipt include borrowings of the government. Okay, so revenue plus capital, which is your total income, which is 45 lakhs 3097. Okay, so uh, the overall budget size for the year 2023-24 is 45 lakh crore rupees okay so um, 45 lakh crore rupees uh, which is uh, which is a combination of revenue receipt income generated by government and borrowings and uh, so expenditure is this 45 lakh like when you will go through the allocations so you will find or even if you go through the entire budget uh, documents so you will find the allocations for 45 lakh crore rupees okay so last year it was around 41 0.87 lakh crore rupees so this year they generally increase that particular number uh, and you can say this is the highest ever number okay so this is one of the biggest budget in indian history okay so uh, when you'll come to the allocations or when you'll come to the uh, the, uh, uh, the the um, expenditure part so you'll find these particular number 
uh, revenue deficit is uh, 4.99 lakh crore rupees and fiscal deficit is fiscal deficit of indian gdp is 17.86 lakh crore rupees so why i'm giving you these particular numbers because like you'll have an uh, you'll have um, a basic understanding about the overall expenditure or overall budget size so your budget size is around 45.3 lakh crore rupees for the upcoming financial year 23 24 so um, these are the number like um, capital uh, revenue if you talk about the receipt side to get uh, income side so uh, for this is this blue is uh, 2023 24 so budget estimation is uh, 26.32 lakh crore rupees through revenue receipt and through borrowings it is 18.70 lakh crore rupees and if you talk about the expenditure So expenditure is thirty five point two zero lakh crore rupees, and here it is ten lakh crore rupees for the upcoming years or uh, for the financial year twenty three twenty four. Now there is a question uh, from where we generally got this particular money. So rupee comes in or rupee goes out. Okay. So as I told you, the overall budget size is uh, around forty five lakh crore rupees, and we are going to make uh, uh, an expenditure of forty five lakh crore rupees in upcoming year. so from where basically what are the major sources from where we will uh, generate that particular income or where will made an expenditure of that particular amount okay so first we'll talk about rupee comes from so the maximum part which is generally contributed by that is borrowings about uh, 34% of uh, the overall budget okay so our overall expenditure is or our overall uh, income is um, 45 lakh crore rupees okay so for out of this 45 lakh crore rupees around 34% which will be um, which will make through uh, the borrowings okay so uh, domestic as well as international borrowing second if you talk about the um, uh, internal sources so so the maximum side is we have corporation tax around 15% taxes paid by uh, corporate houses then we have um, income tax 15% okay uh, in tax pays uh, taxable income or like tax paid by the individuals on their income then we have custom duties 4% we have union excise duties of 7% goods and service tax so the maximum contribution which is um, uh, the the internal side which is gst uh, which will around 17% of overall income that is uh, 45 lakh crore rupees okay non tax revenue taxes other than uh, sorry income other than taxes like we have different different sources like penalties and all so that is non tax revenue grants dividends and all non debt capital receipt these are generally grants we can say which is uh, like which we generally earn or uh, which is generally contributed uh, in form of charity so we do not have to return these particular amounts it can be done by any international organizations or any other uh, uh, any other citizen okay so if you talk about the 45 lakh crore rupees so the maximum we will borrow which is about 34% and if you talk about the internal co- contribution or the revenue receipts so maximum contribution we have from gst which is goods and service tax followed by corporation tax and income tax okay please do remember these particular things uh, now we'll talk about the um, rupee goes to so where we are going to spend that uh, 45 lakh crore rupees so what are the major areas so as you know like maximum we are um, uh, that the, the maximum amount is generally coming coming from the borrowings so we have like in past years we generally borrow money from other countries so the interest payment is the maximum uh, allocations so if you talk about the 45 lakh crore rupees expenditures so maximum uh, 20% we will uh, Uh, pay back that particular money then central sector scheme schemes or central sponsor schemes any government schemes which is um, run by government of india or central governments then we have um, uh, the uh, defense sector so 8% i'll come to the exact number as well subsidies provided by the government which is 7% finance commission and other transfer transfer to state governments or finance commission so 9% then we have um, Uh, share of state taxes and duties so this is the maximum one if you talk about the internal affairs pension 4% other expenditure or contingency planning which is 8% so uh, we have 45 lakh crore rupees for the expenditure for upcoming years so out of this 45 lakh crore rupees we will spend or we will uh, uh, 
um, uh, like if you if you talk about the allocation, so twenty percent will go to goes to your uh, interest borrowing. Then maximum second one is generally going for the uh, state share of taxes and duties. Like let's say there are number of state who contribute more toward the uh, overall revenue receipts. So we'll make spendings accordingly. Okay. Then we have um, uh, the uh, central sector scheme. We have defense system. We have. Um, uh, the uh, uh, finance commission transfers and all which are generally part of this one okay so this chart is very very important if you have a solid understanding toward this particular chart so which will generally give you a uh, give you an idea about the overall income and allocation of union budget okay so hope this is clear if you have problem with any head please do mention in comment section i'll address your qu qu queries okay so now, as I told you, ki we have uh, 45 lakh crore rupees in our hand for expenditure. So where we are going to spend that particular money? We are, we are going to spend that particular money. What are the key areas? Okay. So here you can say, as I told you, around 20% uh, for interest payment. Then we have transport. Then we have defense. Uh, we have major subsidies. We have uh, transport to state. Uh, rural development pensions so these are some topmost head so i would suggest please try to remember all uh, at least three fourths top spendings of government of india okay i'm not saying ki you re you need to remember all these particular facts but huh, i would uh, definitely suggest go for top five um, uh, major spending of government of india then again we have like education is quite important being a student okay uh, then uh, the agriculture in allied areas because this part is very important for Indian economy so which is again important okay and okay so finance and the planning commissions others and all so this is the overall allocation of 45 lakh crore rupees which government has a plan they'll spend in upcoming financial year okay so I hope this is also clear now we'll talk about some announcements so in our previous video, we talk, uh, where we discussed the economic survey key highlights, I hope you guys already watched that particular one. If not, please go and watch that particular video. Economic survey is again very important. So, uh, if you talk about the trend in deficit, so deficit, if you talk, uh, first one is very important, that is fiscal deficit. So, fiscal deficit, for the current year, it is expected around 6.4%. Next financial year, they are targeting it. Uh, for um, they are targeting it at 5.9% uh, so please do remember this one for the current year it is 6.40% and for the next financial year for the coming financial year they are targeting we will uh, there will be some slowdowns in government will try to uh, uh, pull down the overall uh, uh, fiscal deficit to 5.90% or around 6% so again, this is very important one. Huh? And if you talk about the uh, green one, which is your uh, primary deficit. Okay. So um, revenue deficit, primary deficit, they are trying to pull down till 2.30%. Uh, primary deficit, uh, like it is overall deficit in the economy. Okay. So again, uh, the deficit trend is very important. And um, so many times examiner, they generally ask question based on different, different deficit. They can, uh, majorly they ask question based on fiscal deficit. But I would suggest you can go for um, fiscal as well as a primary deficit. Okay. Now, sources of financing. So, like, as I told, like, we are saying we will borrow this money from um, the uh, market or from the domestic as well as international market. So, they tell ki these are the major um, sources from where government is planning for the um, uh, capital receipt. Okay. Capital, uh, which they'll generally borrow from the public. So, state provident funds external debt or uh, securities against small savings or internal debt public accounts or uh, the other cash balance uh, drones so these are some sources where generally government is planning to uh, build that capital budget so revenue receipt is basically which are the, the receipt which is which government of india that generally generate through taxes and non taxes okay uh, that is the income of government of india and a capital receipt which is uh, that money is generally borrowed from government of India. So this is the part from where they generally borrow that particular money. Okay. Now, if you talk about the tax receipt, so um, GST, overall GST collection or overall income tax collection or uh, direct or indirect taxes collection. So GST play a major role. 
सो इट इज लाइक दे आर प्लानिंग की इट विल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अराउंड इलेवन पॉइंट वन परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया जी डी पी सो दी ओवरऑल जी डी जी एस टी कलेक्शन एंड इट इज सिमिलर टू दी करेंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर्स वन डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस सो अगेन एट अ सिमिलर रेट सिक्स परसेंट बिकॉज दिस ईयर दे जनरली चेंज इनकम टैक्स लैब और इवन फॉर एक्स्ट्रा रिच दैट दे जनरली रिड्यूस द रेट्स सो दैट्स वाई वी आर कीपिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर नंबर ऑन अ सिमिलर ग्राफ ओके एंड इन डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस फाइव पॉइंट वन जीरो परसेंट सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डायरेक्ट इन डायरेक्ट एंड जी एस टी कलेक्शन टूअर्ड द इंडियन इकोनॉमी इफ यू कंपेयर विद द इंडिया जी डी पी ओके नेक्स्ट वन रेलवे बजट अगेन रेल इज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दी रेलवेज सो इट प्ले अ विटल रोल इन इंडियन इकोनॉमी एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नेटवर्क इन इंडिया ओके सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस रिजल्ट सो दिस इज लाइक द ओवरऑल इनकम इज एक्सपेक्टेड अराउंड टू पॉइंट सिक्स फोर लैख करोड़ रुपीज एंड द एक्सपेंडिचर प्लान इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो लैख करोड़ रुपीज सो इनकम इज लाइक दिस टाइम वी कैन से वी हैव अ Uh, we have a surplus budget for indian railway so the overall expenditure which is planned around 1 2.60 lakh crore rupees and the income uh, the expected income from the railway is around 2.64 lakh crore rupees okay if you talk about this year so it is like we have um, 2.38 lakh crore rupees of uh, uh, expenses and income is around 2.42 lakh crore rupees as per the uh, union budget 2020 um, Uh, to uh, 23 24 okay re there is a like every time we are using these particular number be is budget estimation okay if you have confusion related to these one okay so be is budget estimation and re is revised estimation okay so last year budget we like let's say uh, this year budget we plan this particular thing ki we will generate this much of income now uh, after the um, nso's first advance data we generally rectify that particular one so that is revise okay so hope this is also clear now uh, if you talk about the um, overall let, let's say if uh, some income is um, collected by the central government so how we will distribute that particular money so this year uh, central government will transfer around 18.62 lakh crore rupees to the uh, state government okay so if you talk about the overall transfers to the state government which is increased by a we can see a slight increment in this particular one okay and uh, uh, government of india they are planning they'll they, they'll transfer more money to the state government which is around 18.62 lakh crore rupees okay now youth power they generally talk about uh, youth power so there are so many schemes so many things which are announced in this particular budget like pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana they launch the 4.0 so the latest version of this particular scheme and uh, they'll try to develop the skills of youth so they can get easy employment in the market uh, uh, skill india digital uh, platform they'll develop the skill india digital platform so you can study these particular one in detail as well uh, but you just need any understanding about these okay national apprenticeship uh, promotion scheme so to provide uh, stipend support uh, to 47 lakh youth um, in 3 uh, years so these kind of numbers are very important so try to remember these one boosting tourism so they'll try to boost tourism and uh, they they'll try to increase the participations of youth toward the uh, tourism as well okay setting up unity mall in uh, state capital so there will be some unity malls and where basically youth can get uh, employment okay so they'll promote the one district one products and all uh, the handcraft products so Uh, government they generally want to make self dependence through these kind of schemes if you talk about the financial sector which is very important one for your examination view point even youth one as well or the coming one is educational that is also so 50 year interest free loan to state governments so here a big announcement so central government will provide loans to state government which will be a interest free loan for uh, next 50 years okay so with this particular amount state government they can also uh, they can develop their infrastructure they can invest in different different areas so they can also grow fiscal deficit uh, of 3.5% of gross state um, domestic products product allowed to the state so as their production will increase 
so they'll get more money from the uh, center as well okay fiscal deficit 20 to 23 is 6.40 percent which we earlier discussed and for 2000 uh, for the upcoming year it is estimated at 5.90 percent and uh, this target is again very important for the next to next financial year which is 25 26 they are planning uh, it to be below around 4.50 percent okay so this statement is very important for your examination purpose please do remember so this is total reset 27.2 lakh crore rupees total expenditure is 45 uh, lakh crore rupees and uh, tax revenue is around 23.3 lakh crore rupees these numbers we already uh, 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 we already gone through these particular numbers hope you remember financial sector uh, so there will be one scheme which is known as mahila samman bachat yojana so for women there is a scheme which is called mahila samman bachat yojana where they can invest up to 2 lakh rupees and uh, they'll get tax benefit and as well as the higher rate of interest benefit for senior citizen again uh, the amount of senior citizens in saving a scheme that generally increase from 15 lakh to 30 lakh rupees just double and uh, this is a tax free amount as well or tax free investment okay so if any senior citizen who make who made investments um, uh, up to 30 lakhs rupees so they do not have to uh, pay any taxes on that particular one and uh, gift I ifsc so several in incentives to uh, promote the uh, business activities in gift ifsc which is in uh, uh, gandhi nagar gujarat okay so there will be number of activities another thing uh, nest setting up national financial um, information registry so to, facil to facilitate the efficient credit flow uh, promote financial inclusion and foster financial stability so government is planning to establish or to build a national financial information registry so from where basically the participants like institutions they can borrow um, the information about the investors or the customers okay setting up a central data processing center faster handling the administrative work so like we have number of activities financial activities so to smoothen these particular activities so government is planning to um, uh, to uh, set up a central data processing uh, center uh, credit guarantee for msme which is allocated around 9000 crore infusion in corpus from 1st april 2023 so to promote these msmes or uh, to uh, uh, to grow the msme sector so there is an allocation of 9000 crore rupees uh, so uh, this will be kind of a credit to these MSMEs. They can borrow money and they'll get some benefits or some subventions or subsidies in these particular loan. Uh, if you talk about the achievements, they also talk about some key achievements from 2014 to 2023. So um, 11.7 crore household uh, toilets under the uh, Swachh Bharat mission. So 11.7 crore household toilets uh, which were built during this particular period. 9.6 uh, uh, crores LPG connections uh, distributed under Ujwala scheme, 220 crore um, COVID vaccinations uh, that is done, and uh, 47.8 crore bank accounts opened under Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, again very important number, 44.6 crore pension covered under Pradhan Mantri uh, Suraksha Bhima Yojana and uh, Jeevan Jyoti Yojana, very important, 2. Point, uh, uh, 2 lakh crore um, cash transfers under Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sammanyadi, very important. Per capita income which is generally increased to 1.97 lakh crore rupees. So this data is again very important. So the per capita income, the average um, income of um, uh, citizens in India which is 1.97 lakh crore, uh, 1.97 lakhs, okay, 1 lakh 97,000, okay. So this achievement part is again very important. So examiner, they pick some question based on this particular area as well. Now, um, if you talk about the um, other areas, phase three of e-code will be launched. Uh, Vivaat se um, Biswas scheme. So they are planning to launch this particular scheme with an execution for MSME. So uh, Vivaat se Biswas scheme is related to direct taxes. So let's say uh, there's a person who um, miss uh, some taxes in past and there are some cases in court so to solve these particular cases we have vivaat se viswas scheme okay so this is a this scheme is related to direct taxes two for uh, the same thing okay input based to uh, result based uh, financing for better uh, allocation of uh, 
uh, scare resources anti entity uh, digital lockers to be set up so these are some major announcement this one is again very important one so they generally change the uh, text lab and uh, now text lab uh, that generally reduced to 5% again tax exemptions limit increase to 3 lakh rupees which means if anyone who is earning 3 lakh rupees they do not have to pay any taxes 3 to 6 lakh it is 5% 6 to 9 lakh 10% so 9 to 12 lakh 15% and the maximum is above 15 lakh that is 30% so again this area and like those who are finance students or um, like if you're preparing for any accounting examination finance examination so you need to remember this particular one and on the basis of this new resume they can give you some cases so you have to answer that particular one as well so for that one you need this particular one okay so um, if you talk about the education areas so the enhanced educational expenditure 2.9 percent of uh, gdp uh, in financial year 23 24 now this is very important one okay so whatever the GDP size, total GDP size and out of that one 2.9 percent expenditure for the uh, education sector. Okay, National digital library to be set up for the children and adults and uh, PMKVY Pradhan Mandri Kausal Vikas Yojana 4.0 to be a uh, launch um, for the skill enhancement of the youth as well. The next one is green growth. So when we talk about those sub -therises, so during that one, we have green growth as well. So green credit program will be launched and uh, government will provide some incentive to the uh, stakeholders. Uh, Pradhan Mantri uh, uh, Pranam schemes will be launched for the fertilizers. Okay, 500 new ways to wealth uh, plan to be established under Govardhan scheme. These data is very important. Uh, please do remember. Misty to be taken for um, the uh, mangroves plantation and uh, we have um, Amrit Dharuva to be implemented over three years for the optional use of wetlands. So, so we have so many wetlands so for the optional or uh, for the tourism purpose or for other purpose so we will use that particular one under Amrit Dharuva. Okay so again these particular announcement uh, try to remember these particular one try to recall these particular one so uh, they will definitely help you in your upcoming time duration. Okay. Uh, inclusive development, more credit to agriculture sector, 186 lakh crore rupees in financial year 22 last year. Agriculture accelerator funds will be created for the rural areas. Atmanirbhar Bharat horticulture clean pro uh, plant program to boost production um, of high value hort horticulture crops. 20 lakh crore rupees credit to animal husbandry, dairy and uh, fisheries business through Kisan credit card and other sources. Additional shortage capability for the uh, farm and uh, support to making India global hub for the uh, uh, millets. So, Sri Anna scheme will be launched. Okay. So, there are few steps or few new initiatives which are generally uh, taken for the agriculture sector and even we have some ongoing as well. So, to support these one. Okay. So guys, um, uh, here we generally talk about some key highlights of Union Budget 23-24, uh, 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 which will uh, uh, which will be effective from 1st of April 2023. So the scheme or the theme was based on Saptarisi Amrit Kal. So we have seven point inclusive growth or inclusive development. We have um, reaching to the last mile. We have um, infrastructure and investments in Indian economy. We have um, unleashing the uh, potentials, green growth, youth power, financial sector. So these were the seven key areas where generally um, government is uh, trying to work and um, or even if you study the entire documents of the uh, union budget 23-24. So you will find the everything which is surrounding to these are uh, seven points. Okay. So these were some key highlights. I hope you guys enjoy these particular. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the entire video. So if you like, please do share with your friends. And still, if you have any query related to any points, so do mention in comment section. Okay. And uh, uh, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and do share with your friends. Thank you for watching with this video, guys. I'll see you soon with more information. Thank you.